at a high level, any search engine marketing account, you know, you're going to have your brand versus your unbrand keywords in general, right? And just to kind of take a step back, your brand keywords are the keywords that relate to your, the name of your business, the, the, the slogans related to your business, the products that you sell at your business by name, and unbrand are the sort of categories that you sell within. So these are things more general. So for example, if you're selling shoes and your company is called Zappos, we'll use them as an example. You know, your brand terms would be, you know, Zappos, Zappo shoes, things along those lines. Um, your unbrand terms would be more like shoes, you know, heels, wedges, boots, all the things that sort of are the categories that you're selling at a high level. And, um, you know, when it comes to keywords, there are, you know, sort of short tail and long tail keywords, which we'll get more into, I'm sure, in this interview. And, um, you know, when, when, you're, when you're bidding inside of your search engine marketing platform, be it AdWords or Bing or wherever you're bidding, you're going to... Um, you're going to be bidding on keywords, right? And a, and a match type, which is sort of the most basic element of a search marketing uh, campaign. And keep in mind, the keywords are just a, a sort of a net you're casting to then bid on showing an ad for the, the variance of the, of the keywords that you're bidding on, depending on the match type, right? So match type, there's broad, there's phrase, there's exact at a high level and some other derivatives, but those are the primary ones. And, and that sort of specifies how wide your net is. So if you're bidding on shoes exact, you're going to have, you're going to basically show an ad for the word shoes each time or a very similar derivative shoe, shoes, that sort of thing. If, if it's, you know, phrase match, it's going to open it up a bit more. You're going to get other keywords like maybe, you know, cheap shoes, buy shoes now, those sort of things. And, and if you go to broad, you're going to get, a uh, very wide range of keywords coming in. A lot of erroneous, you know, keywords that you might not be really interested in bidding on will be caught. And that's kind of where search term reports and harvesting comes in. So, you know, obviously you're bidding on certain keywords depending on your match type. Your net is catching a lot of bycatch, as I put it. And your search term reports are going to help you figure out uh, exactly which of that bycatch is valuable to your company over time that will produce the sort of return or, or, or goals that you're looking for and which portion of that net is wasted by catch that you can then opt, you know, optimize out of your mix. So search terms are exactly what the user is typing into their, their browser, into Google and Bing, and which should not be confused with your keyword, which is the strategy that you're using to cast these nets to then show ads to people on these uh, search marketing platforms. So that's kind of what search terms are at a high level there. They are the exact terms that people are typing into their browser when they're um, surfacing your ads.